Hello, this is Rishi Guba, and today I'm going to show you how to make Steve from Minecraft's body. First, we're going to create a new part studio from the same document where we created his leg. So go to the Insert New Element and click on Create Part Studio. We're going to rename that part studio by right clicking on it and clicking on Rename. We're going to rename it Body. Then we're going to click on the Sketch option and select the front plane as your sketch plane. Right click and view normal to the sketch plane. Then we're going to create a center point rectangle in the middle. Um, you might not see it, so use the drop down menu to see it and click on center point rectangle. Then we're going to create a rectangle in the middle. We're going to make the width 6 inches and the length 3 inches. Then we're going to click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to select the extrude option, click on the rectangle we made. The depth is going to be 2 inches. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to click on sketch and make sure this is the front side of the rectangular prism. Click on the front side of the rectangular prism and we're going to make a line that's going to be in the middle of this top line. And we're going to make it coincident to this midpoint and we're going to make it 0.5. Then we're going to create a line vertically down and it's going to be 0.25. Then we're going to create another point 25 and make another point 25 down and then go here and make a point 25 here. Then we're going to create, then we're going to click on the mirror option, select this line as your mirror line and select all of the four lines you made. I mean five lines. Then we're going to click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to select the extrude option, click on this, and select remove, and we're going to put one inch in depth. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, click on extrude again, select the same sketch, and we're going to click on new. So it, we're going to click on new, otherwise it won't work. And we're going to make sure it goes this way, and the depth is going to be one inch. Then we're going to click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to change the color of part one. So go to part one, right click and click on edit appearance. We're going to make that color zero E A E A E. Then we're going to click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to go to part two, right click, edit appearance. And that's going to be A capital A nine seven. Capital D64. Then we're going to click on the green tick mark. After that, click P on the keyboard to remove all planes and hide the origin. Then we're going to change the trimetric view. Now we're going to assemble this bad boy. So we're going to click on the insert new element, create a assembly, and we're going to rename this assembly body, body assembly. Then we're going to insert Oops, I renamed this wrong. Then we're going to insert the body. And then we're going to click on the green tick mark. First, we're going to move this skin piece off. So that we so we could use a fasten mate to fasten it together. So click on the fasten mate, which is over here. And click on, go to the top view. And go to the middle right here. And go to the middle of that that face. Make sure the z-axis is pointing upwards. Then we're going to go to the bottom and go over here and make sure the z-axis is pointing down and it's in the middle of that face. Then we're going to click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to click on we're going to hide the origin and then click on the trimetric view. Ta-da! This is a beautiful body. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create the head. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Cad Legend. And I'm hoping we get 50 subscribers this month. Thank you. Bye.